does God talk and to whom? I love that one <laughs> because I think that question could only be asked by someone who feels that, you know, they're kind of wondering, could or would God talk to me? And the answer is yes, because God speaks to everyone always. And there is no one that's left out of this. There is no one that doesn't have that voice of the divine, the voice of the Holy Spirit, the voice for God, the Holy Spirit within us is what I had said before, that if you're breathing, then you're inspired, then you're breathing in the Holy Spirit. That's the animating part of us, along with that breath, along with that life that animates your human form, comes the voice for the divine. It's the call back home. And what I mean by that is that in every moment we're having experiences and making choices and decisions, and some of them can feel pretty diverse and pretty separating and pretty challenging and hard and even fearful. When that happens, there's always a background voice that's calling us home. Like you can see it this way, or how about look at it this way? What do you, what do you can you notice here? And it's pointing out to us details about how to reconnect, how to see it as love or a call for love. In that world, only love is real. So there's not any division ever happening. There's only a call back home, a return to love. And when you're someone who asks, how does God talk and to whom? Every single one of us. There's no one that's left out of this. There's a constant and continual call for love back home in our heart of hearts. When you click in and start to meditate or spend quality time with yourself or start to be silent or just appreciative out in nature and letting yourself get some spaciousness, you'll start to hear a voice that speaks more sanely and invitingly. And it tells you things about yourself that you don't hear typically on planet Earth from many people. It tells you about your perfection. It tells you about your, your beautiful capacity for creativity, that you're the one who came to bring the light. It tells you about, it gives you hints of the genius that you have access to. It, it unsnarls a snarly world and makes things very clear. It illuminates. It's an illuminating voice. And so do know that if you ask that question from a place of wondering if God will speak to you, yes, all day, every day, but you have to know a little bit more about how God speaks. God speaks in everything, in symbols. When you look for where is God, God is formless, so every form has the essence of God in it. Every single thing you see, nothing is separate from the divine. And when you start to look at things this way, like there must be more, you will see it. You will see the beauty. If you, you might have had a candle on your table for years, and it's just a candle to you. And when you begin to look more deeply into it, you'll see all kinds of meanings and synchronicities around that candle. You'll see a light in it that you never could have noticed before, a capacity in it that you've never noticed before. Like, why haven't I lit that light to illuminate this room with that subtle, beautiful energy? You'll start to see things that have been available to you all along because the divine surrounds us in beauty always. Joy, beauty, love, light, or qualities of the divine in, of, and through you and around you. That is what God is. And it's constantly that energy, that formless energy of grace is all, always, always calling us home. And it's allowing us to just be who we are when we get still and, and then absorb that energy of embrace that that just shatters the world of separation and lets us feel at home. So every single person on planet Earth is being called to this realization and recognition. The more of us that answer, the more of us that begin to have a, a dialogue with the divine about how much we love the divine and the divine loves us back, the more we feel that 
overflowing fullness and the more we can show up to life here as the light that we are meant to be. So, so know that, that you are not left out. No one's left out from this. No one could be left out from this.